All right, that's close enough. Who the hell are you? What are you doing here? I go where I want. Oh, no you don't! No one gets in here without going through security. But I'm a fellow vault dweller. Can't you just let me in? I think you got the wrong idea about this place, bub. We're not vault dwellers. Vault 4 is never open. I got half a mind to turn you away after all the things you said to me. Although, while you're rude, you don't seem like you're actually dangerous. So, welcome to Fourville. And before you say anything about the name, don't bother. I didn't come up with it. The mayor likes to meet all new visitors, so the town hall should be your first stop. If you have a crime to report, come find me. If you commit a crime, the next person you'll be talking to is my rifle. I hope we're clear. Interested in seeing the Fourville tents? Or perhaps purchasing a souvenir? I'm interested in the history of this place. So, you want the talk? All right. <clears throat> Here goes. More than 200 years ago, the Great War broke out across the world. Thousands of people took shelters in things called vaults, like the one behind me. When the vaults sealed, they were expected to open up after 20 years. There were some who decided that if they could wait that long, they could find shelter when it opened. George Willis was one such man. Together with his family, he arrived in the entrance cave to Vault 4 on the day of the Great War. Behind me, you can see the very tent he pitched for shelter, made from a recovered log and a sheet of plastic. It was a far cry from the shelters which would come later. There's no way that could ever work. Look around you. Our town is the proof that Willis's plan worked. Over time, more refugees began showing up at the vault seeking shelter. As more people came, they needed more living space. The early residents of Fourville began to dig out the walls of the cave and used reclaimed wood and dismantled vault tech equipment to build houses. This process is still ongoing as workers tirelessly dig to create new spaces for houses and maybe find a way inside the vault. Many of us in Fourville still dream that the vault may one day open, including members of the Church of the Four, who you can see often uh, worship in this site. And that's the story of the Fourville Tents. If you want to learn more, you can visit the Fourville Museum or the Church of the Four. Tell me more about this vault. Do you want the talk? All right, here goes. <clears throat> More than 200 years ago, the Great War broke out across the world. Thousands of people took shelter. When the vault sealed, George Willis was behind me. That's incredible. If you think that's incredible, wait until you hear what happened next. Over time, more refugees began showing up at the vault seeking shelter. As more people came, they needed more living space. The early residents of Fourville began to dig out the walls of the cave and used reclaimed wood and dismantled vault tech equipment to build houses. This process is still ongoing as workers tirelessly dig to create many of us in Fourville. Whatever. And that's the story of the four. What do you sell here? We sell samples of dirt from the earth around the tents, certificates of authentication to say you've seen the tents, as well as some pre-war knickknacks. Let's see what you have. You won't be disappointed.
Not right now. We're open 24 hours a day if you change your mind. Hey. Go ahead. Hi. Mind if we talk for a second? What's on your mind? You know, something's always bothered me. Since I grew up in a simulation of the old world, I can never be sure if it's the same as the one you lived in. I mean, it was modeled after your world, sure, but who knows what those doctors tweet to fit their purpose. Like, maybe they made certain products seem more appealing so it'd change my habits. Stuff like that. So, I was wondering, could we do a little test? Just to see if our memories line up. I guess I have nothing better to do. And it won't take more than a minute, I swear. It's like this. I give you a product slogan and you tell me what it is. Then we compare notes. So, for starters, how's this for a new Coca-Cola question? I'm thinking of a dinner that comes in a box, ready to eat and it'll fill you up right. It's just what every cowpoke and ranch hand needs to put a giddy up in their saddle. Saddle up Salisbury steak. Rated A plus. Ding ding ding. That's it, all right. It makes you wonder though, if that's an A plus, what the hell does a C minus taste like? But yeah, it's good to know my past lines up with yours. That way I don't feel like some weird alien from out of town. Not that it's a good idea to obsess over the past, what matters is what happens next. Um, we got a comfort level that goes beyond eating the same steak in a box. But thanks for indulging me all the same. Hey there. You're new here, aren't you? The name's Big Ears. I saw you come like to speak to the new people in town. I can help you get the lay of the land better than anyone else here. How'd you get that name? On account of these big old things on the side of my head. And how I always keep them to the ground. So, are you interested in my help? So, how are you going to do that? Great! So, here's the deal. I know loads of useful information that you might need if you're going to make your way in Fourville. There are all kinds of people here. Some of them you'll want to mix with. Some of them you won't. You pay me a cap, and I'll give you a little piece of useful info. How does that sound? Let's see what you got. Fantastic. Here's one to get you started. If you're new in town, the first person you're going to want to see is the mayor. The second thing you need to know is that we're in the middle of an election. Mayor Sanders is up for re-election. But I hear Miss McKenzie is going to run him close. So, what did you think? Want any more? I've got plenty where they came from. Tell me more about this town of yours. Are you trying to get free information out of me? If you want to know what's going on in the town, you'll need to stump up some cash. Let's hear it. Only the best tips for you. Stay on Chief Roscoe's good side. He's all business. Pretty helpful, right? Want another one? Why are you telling me all of this? Haven't you figured it out yet? There's something sinister going on in this town. And you're the only one who can help. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just shitting you. You should have seen the look on your face. I really need the money. And gossip and information are the only commodities I have. So help a poor guy out and buy a tip. Let's hear it. This one is especially juicy. If you're looking for a gun, talk to Mike on the upper level. Admit it, you'd be lost without me. Not today. Eh, you're a loss.
Commander so far about the damn vault way too much. But at least feel like he cares about you. Miss Mackenzie, she's scared. 